Enough with all this bullshit. Let's get the woman of the hour up here. This is a woman. This is a woman whose idea of signing a lease agreement is to blow the most desperate looking guy at Burning Man. Oh, and she renews every year. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jennifer Cleveland. So this cracked me up earlier. Uh, Schwa was talking about the black market comedy. And if we were ever going to sell any of her jokes on the black market, we'd need two kidneys. Yeah. I found this really funny because that's how we met up. We were trying to sell our kidneys in the black market and found out we were all alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome. Let's hear it for Schwa, who looks just like Walter from Breaking Bad. <laughs> If he started, if he started a barbershop quartet, <laughs> smoke crack my baby, smoke crack my darling, smoke crack my good old time. Um, he mentioned that I fucked my English teacher, and then I got a C minus because of an oral exam, and I think that's all fucked up. Um, um, I so got an A plus in that class. <laughs> yeah, and I will suck every dick in this house just to prove a point. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me! I will make you wish you never saw the first sun come down. And come. I'm just saying. And then there's Anthony. He did a really good job. Didn't he? Yeah, who's Anthony? <laughs> When I first met Anthony, he was all like, er, I'm tough. Ooh, I'm a bad guy. And I'm like, this is really weird. He has a Napoleon complex. <laughs> but he's six foot four. Five! Five! <laughs> then I saw him naked. And I was like, explains it all. What can I say about Anthony that hasn't already been put on a restraining order? <laughs> and then there's Fricka Dickentina. Everyone talks about how I talk dirty. Have you heard this bitch? <laughs> Jesus Christ, she made me blush. She made Andrew Dice Clay blush. I am just freaking saying, and what can you say about Tina that is not already on an AIDS pamphlet? <laughs> I remember Tina breaking up with an ex of hers and what she said, it stands out in my brain so much after the guy's like, fuck you, bitch, you ruined my life. And she said to him, it's your fault you thought it was an ingrown hair. <laughs> <laughs> then there's Dan McLaren. He did a fantastic job, guys. What can I say about Dan McLaren that isn't already in a shitty sitcom that NBC rejected four times? <laughs> Turns out he lost 75 pounds. Turns out no one gave a shit. Yeah. I promised myself I wasn't going to make any fat jokes about Dan. I wasn't going to make any small dick jokes about Dan. I wasn't going to say something like, holy shit, you're so fat, no wonder your father committed suicide. <laughs> Wasn't gonna go there. <laughs> I wasn't gonna ask him why he hasn't tried to kill himself yet, so I have nothing to say about Dan. <laughs> and then there's Levi Anderson! We had a very special bonding moment. Um, one time we. Um, we hung out, we spent the whole day in Ashton together, and we ended up volunteering at a batter women's shelter. And he pulled me aside, and he's like, uh, first off, thank you very much for taking me here. I've learned a lot about myself, but also I feel horrible um, because when that girl started talking about um, losing her teeth in a fist fight, I got a raging heart on. <laughs> I calmed him down by reassuring him that absolutely nobody could notice. So what can I say about Scott May that has not already been put in a Craigslist ad? <laughs> men seeking men. 
He's like, I want an encounter, but I, I don't want it to be too formal. Like, what, what can I call that? A casual encounter? Is that okay? He was very shocked. Um, honestly, uh, out of all the comedians, I think that Scott May is actually one of the funniest. He's uh, one of the um, strongest and best looking. And if you don't believe me, ask him. He will tell you. <laughs> but more importantly, he has a nice personality after you've had a couple drinks. Oh my God! Is that something you do? You do this. Is it really Keith's birthday? Can we sing him happy birthday? Let's sing him happy birthday now. No. After I fucked Keith, I promised, I made him promise that he wouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> because I have this, like, pristine reputation to maintain. <laughs> I might fuck a tapeworm. I might fuck a guy named Scout, which means there's three months of me looking for one jazz record to make that really <laughs> But to fuck a Keith with a new goddamn low, I was not really worried. <laughs> Do you want to know why Keith's so fat? <laughs> He eats a sandwich every time he masturbates to me rejecting him. Oh! Before, we, uh, before we call it a night, I would like to not just talk about my vagina, but for uh, to sing about my vagina. Oh! Yeah. 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 You better go downtown. I'm fooling around. What did I have to beg for your face doing my leg? It's so hurt. It's something. Come on, boy. Kiss the pig. <laughs> what well, I'm trying to say to you. Is pretend that I paid you. Yeah. Oh, Cause I'll hit your mouth, baby. Yeah. You be lapping my lady. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I heard what's a lady at, and I know that guy. I fucked him. Guess who didn't come that night? <laughs> Just as smooth as a baby's ass, only twice as tight. 